What's up guys, this is iTweaks here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to install Cydia on your iPhone using Windows. Now of course Cydia has to be installed manually, so we're having to do this on our PC. But I did do a tutorial on how to install Cydia on your iPhone on a Mac. So if you're on a Mac, then you can just check the link in the description below. I'll put a link to that tutorial for you guys. But if you're on Windows, I got a ton of questions about how to do this on Windows. I guess the Mac version didn't really translate well over into Windows, so I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do that right now. Now, first of all, I want to apologize for the quality of this video. I figured the information was a little bit more important than the quality, so I'm actually just recording my screen or my monitor right now. So before we start, let me go ahead and say that you do have to be jailbroken in order to do this process. If you aren't jailbroken, I'll have a link in the description below for you guys to click on to get jailbroken. And then once you're jailbroken, you'll have this application right here on your phone called Pangu. We're gonna go ahead and open that up, and then you're gonna tap on Open SSH. Once you tap on that, you'll see a little install button right up here at the top. Go ahead and install that. You don't have to respring or anything like that. And then once this is installed, then we can SSH into our device. So we're gonna go back here, and you can obviously see we did not have Cydia on this device. So what we're gonna be doing is downloading two programs right here. We're gonna download WinSCP, and then we're going to download Putty. I'll put a link to both of these programs in the description below. Also have a little step-by-step -step tutorial in the description if you guys get lost during the video, then you can always revert back to that. So the first thing that we wanna do is go ahead and open up WinSCP. So we're gonna open this up, and then we're going to have to type in our host name. Now our host name is going to be our IP address on our device. So we're gonna open up our settings here, and then we're gonna open up our Wi-Fi connection, and then we're gonna tap on the I. So when we tap on the I, you'll see that we have our IP address right here. So mine is 192.168.1.7. So I'm gonna go ahead and type that in, 192.168.1.7. And then for username and password, it's gonna be the same for both of us. So we're both gonna be using root as a username, and then for the password, we're gonna use Alpine, which is A-L-P-I-N-E. And then we're going to click login. So now when we click login, it should go ahead and connect to the host. Now you might get a little pop-up right here uh, before it actually logs in and just click yes and that's going to allow you to continue to connect to your device. So now this right here, this little box is going to be our device. This is our iPhone. So what we want to do is open up media and then we're going to create a new folder. So we're going to go to new and then we're going to go to directory. And then the name of this we're going to call Cydia. So we'll just type in Cydia and then we'll click OK. And then we're going to open up Cydia and then we're going to create a new folder or a new directory and we're gonna call it auto install. Capital A-U-T-O capital I-N-S-T-A-L-L. -L. And then go ahead and click okay. And then once we have our auto install folder, we're gonna go ahead and open that up. So we'll just double click on it and it should go ahead and open up. And then one thing I didn't mention is these two dev files. We need both of these because we're gonna be putting these on our device and installing them. So these are very small files. You can see this one's only 65 kilobytes and this one's about 780 kilobytes. So we want to download both of these. Of course, I'll have a link in the description below for you guys. And then all you wanna do once you're in the install folder or auto install folder, you just wanna click and drag these over. So we'll drop those in and then you'll get a little pop-up right here. Just go ahead and click OK. So it should go ahead and transfer those files and you can see that right now. So now we're actually done with WinSCP. So we're gonna go ahead and minimize that, and then we're gonna open up Putty. So go ahead and open up Putty, click Run, and then here we have our host name. So this is going to be our IP address again. So we're gonna type in 192.168.1.7. And of course, this is going to be different for you, so go ahead and make sure that you type that in right. Now I actually typed that in wrong right there. Okay, so this should be my IP address. And then I have port 22, it should already be auto filled in right there. And you wanna make sure you have SSH ticked right here. So go ahead and make sure that that's ticked and then click open. Now once this opens up, you should get a little terminal right here or a command prompt. So we're going to log in as root, so R-O-O-T, hit enter. And then for the password, it's gonna be the same. It's gonna be Alpine, which is A-L-P-I-N-E, and then hit enter. So now we're logged in as root. So now what we wanna do is go to that directory in which we have installed those dev files, or we've put those dev files. So we wanna type in cd for change directory, slash var, slash root, slash 
media with a capital I or a capital M and then slash auto or sorry Cydia slash auto install. So once we have that, just go ahead and hit enter. And of course, I'll go ahead and put that in the description below for you guys so you can just copy and paste it if you want to do that. So now we should be in the folder which we have the dev files and we can check just by typing ls and hitting enter. And you can see those two dev files right there. So now what we want to do is install those. So we're going to type in dpkg space dash i space asterisk dot dev. So what that's going to do is install every file that has a dev extension. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we're just going to hit enter. And you can see that it's already done. So now what you need to do is reboot your device. Now you can actually do this remotely within putty. So we're just going to type in reboot and you'll see on my device. If I go ahead and open that up, if I hit enter, it should reboot the device. And you'll notice you'll get a uh, server unexpectedly closed network connection. That's because it's rebooting the device, so it can't connect to it. So just go ahead and click OK, and we're basically done with uh, PuTTY as well as WinSCP. So when this reboots, we should have Cydia on our device. All right, so now that we've rebooted, let's go ahead and slide to unlock, swipe over, and we don't have Cydia. So what we want to do is do that entire process again. So we're just actually going to go into our WinSCP. And we're going to type in our IP. And we have port number 22. So we're going to be using username the exact same, root and alpine. And then we're going to log in real quick. Now we're going to double check to make sure that those dev files are actually there. Once this opens up, here it is. So we're going to go to media, Cydia, auto install. So those aren't there. So now we're going to put them back in. Let's go ahead and do that. And then we're done with that. And now let's open up PuTTY once again. Now we're not connected, so we're gonna go ahead and close out of that and then open it back up. So we wanna do the same thing, 192.168.1.7. And then we have SSH right here. So we have that tick, so we're gonna click open. So this is basically the exact same process that we did before. So we're gonna type in root and then we're gonna type in Alpine for the password. So now that we're here, we're going to go ahead and type in the CD var root media Cydia and then auto install. Now you can just hit the up arrow and it should uh, go ahead and bring that up. And then we're going to type in dpkg i asterisk dot dev. And then we're going to install those dev files with that exact same command that we used previously and hit enter. And you know that it worked when you see the 1062 files and directories currently installed. So we should be good. So now let's go ahead and reboot our device one more time. All right, so this time we should have a Cydia icon on our device. So we're gonna swipe over here and you can see that we have Cydia right there. Now if we go ahead and open that up, then it's gonna go ahead and prepare the file system, which can take a while and then it's going to reboot and then it should be working Cydia. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip to the end of this portion. All right, so now that we're actually rebooted, you can see right here if we swipe over, and tap on Cydia, it's gonna be working just fine. So that's how you install Cydia on your device using Windows. Now, if you guys wanna see some Cydia tweaks that are compatible with iOS 8, make sure you leave me a like and let me know in the comments below. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did and you wanna see more videos on everything jailbreak and everything Apple, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, until next time, peace.